there it is. The Elk Mountain Wall Tent. That is one high quality canvas wall tent or outfitter's tent or whatever you may call it. Just set it up for the first time. Uh, don't mind my ranger. Took me uh, a couple hours, but that's like right out of the bag, right out of the box, whatever. And I've set up, you know, I'm a few hundred tents probably, but it's, uh, it is a process to set it up. I'm not going to lie to you, but when you get it up, it is a structure. Those tent pegs, for instance, it's basically a circus tent. <laughs> This thing isn't going anywhere. It's very strong. You got to mention that gable vent on each side that operates from inside or outside to give you ventilation. Screen door. Uh, very, very key must have in the North Country to have a screen door, which a lot of wall tents don't have. I'll show you what it's like to set this thing up. You can see I opted for the aluminum pole setup, which you have an option of uh, using wood you could actually frame up a uh, structure or you could use um, trees that you actually cut down out in the woods however the situation i'm in i'm actually better off with the uh, steel frame steel poles so i'm going to put it on a tent platform and leave it up for a long period of time in any case this is the ground sheet the the floor that they actually send with it that's a bag full of the a-frame connectors that go on the roof. I'll show you how that works. And here we have the tent itself. It comes in a nice bag. Um, heavy. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a heavy, heavy tent. I'll get the specs for it and post that in the uh, description. So, all right, let's get to it. Uh, as you can see, those poles come in a, their own little carrying, uh, not a case, but, you know, it keeps them together nice and neat and separated. So, Let's get this baby up. I want to show you how easy it is to read instructions. Ten instructions. <clears throat> Page one. Packing list, we have a tent, ropes, which are tied to the tent, tent stakes, 20 angles, eight floors, six end truss, white cap, and six center truss. To set up, you clear flat area. Not flat, but it's just a demo, so not gonna get too fancy. Um, lay a flat ground tarp, optional, but helps keep the area clean. I did get the uh, the ground, the tent floor, so I'm going to go ahead and spread that out. As you can see, we got the uh, ground top down, or the floor we'll call it. Unclip wire rope from ridge angle pieces. So let's get the ridge angle pieces. Uh, That's what we're talking about, our cross pieces and angle pieces, so we'll set these kind of in order. Uh, T. Some of them are connected to the wire, some aren't. Assemble four of the rafter systems for main part of tent. They want us to put together, assemble four of the rafter system, uh, four of the raf rafter systems for main part of tent. So let's these do that. Are the, uh, rafter pieces you have to unclip from the wires. You can see that little, uh, this guy, yeah, that hanging down. That's what clips into the wire, which holds your truss together. Um, loosen up these little wing nuts like this. The pole has a little uh, tab on it that springs in, just in like that. Boom.
<laughs> yeah, those, uh, those, uh, that truss system with those wires, that's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. That's going to really make for a strong roof, you know, in a lot of high wind areas and stuff like that. So we're going to work on the uh, common poles, which are the poles that go down the side along the edge of the roof, and they also hold the floor legs together. So we'll get, get onto that. Just so I'm not leaving in the dark. I mean, this is, you know, what it, uh, what the uh, rafters look like once they're put together. Uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. We're gonna get the walls in place. You can see that wire rafter support I was talking about. It goes up and catches the ridge pole. Okay, comes down and then goes to each wall like that. Pretty good idea, actually. That makes for a really strong truss. I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm anxious to see how. Uh, Thing is. Yes, now the idea is to uh, get one set of one wall up and once you get one set of legs under one side they want you to bring the canvas over it. Uh, it just makes it easier to set up so you got to drag your canvas up and over the side and down over then put the other wall up underneath it so All right, there it goes. I think I actually got it going the right way. On there. A little tip when you're trying to hoist it up over by yourself in, in the final end game these ropes are going to be holding down each corner you can hook it hook the end ropes on the end of the frame and it'll keep it from sliding back while you're trying to carry it across and again you know you got to be careful Obviously, you're dragging canvas over metal. Watch out for sharp edges. Uh, doesn't seem to be a problem. Something you want to bear in mind. Kind of a cool trick, though. I say so myself. Again, the trick with this, when you bring it up over, is leave yourself plenty of slack. Don't pull. Don't fight it. If you know, if you're getting resistance, be careful. But I just keep working it up over. It seems to be going pretty easy. I'm working by myself, really. I'll just keep going. much where I want to be right there. That's that corner. So I know I'll just take out the slack. Well now I get it up and over. Uh, pretty much just gonna stand up that other wall and it should look like a tent. Well, we're inside. Actually, it looks like a tent. You can see the uh, other thing I want to point out before you hoist that over to the other side, you just kind of hook these, uh, not tight because they have to go up, but that keeps it from sliding back on you to do this one uh, set of uh, straps. Do that all the way down and then up, over. We need a step ladder to tie those. So now what I'm going to do, I also got to get my floor pieces in. I'm going to say floor pieces. You can see those uh, brackets there. Then there's also two for uh, the end, uh, one or the other. So that's no, coming. Uh, not bad. You know, it seems big, but it, it is big, okay? Uh, there's no getting around that. But, you know, if you're going to spend the summer in this thing or live in this thing, whatever, the winter, um, you know, by the time you get your cots in here and your table and stuff, it, you know, wood stove, which is going to go right there after I cut the jack. I'm not going to do that today, but yeah, get your wood stove in here and stuff. You know what? It, it gets small quick. These little buckles here are pretty slick. Very simple to use. 
just um, cinch it up. There you go. These are some serious tent stakes. My God. <laughs> Circus is in town. Yeah, so this ridge vent, or gable vent, I'm sorry, gable vent. Basically, if you're inside, close it. If you're outside, open it. That is pretty slick. If anybody spent any time in these things, you know it gets hot and you need air circulation. Um, or if you ever, you know, uh, the wood stove ever smoked you out or something, you can just open that up with the airflow and boom. Don't drop right back up. Uh, get this nice screen door. And this just ties over here like that. Keep it out of the way. A nice screen. Just Huge, 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 bonus. Like that. Give you some idea of the size of this thing. Uh, it is, it's a lot of tent, but if you're going to spend the summer in this, or you're going to spend the winter or any length of time, uh, they're never too big. By the time you put your kitchen stuff in here, your wood stove, your cots, it fills up quick. This is a good size room. Good size room. Very impressed. These uh, these trusses, these trusses are incredible. I have to hold those walls together. Screen windows, six of them. They tie right up with these uh, lashes, or you can leave them down. Keep the rain out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. And oh yeah, it has a back door too. So if you got to get out, it's not just uh, you got you got access front and rear, which is huge, huge. For some reason you got to you know you can't get out through the front and walk it out the back. Also a ridge again, a gable vent in the back, and uh, just jazzed out. Love this thing. Love this thing. Cannot wait to get that up and. Uh, Northern Maine. There's a better shot for you right there. If you will. That's it. The new home you've been looking for.